Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing Stellaris on Insane Difficulty. We're playing it with the newest DLC Apocalypse. Welcome back. Uh, in the last episode, just at the end, I did some galactic fundraising. Progress. We have now a ton of minerals <laughs> from people that don't need it or that are interested in having some research, I guess. <laughs> and we're able to restore the final segment of that ring world, which is beautiful. It's actually going much faster than I thought it would. Like, we're only just uh, managed to like get a foothold on the second segment okay so that's happening let's put an off for trading company on it and let's also I think we might already want to queue the next upgrade because it's gonna gonna give us two buildings so it's definitely a good idea superiority is coming along nicely over here I'd say we just want the food we want the food to happen Actually, I'm kind of considering moving him over to something where we can get more food. And we can reach into the shroud, which I will gladly do. Come on, give me something good. A small flickering star materializes inside the shroud. It flies past at incredible speed and for a second it reveals itself as an alien ship of unknown configuration. Then it vanishes in a cloud of psionic energy as quickly as it appeared. Can it be? Is it possible to physically enter the shroud and then emerge somewhere else entirely in normal space? Linger for a while. If successful, well, truly, who knows? Yes! <laughs> Yet another flickering star suddenly appears, but this time we're ready. It is indeed an alien ship, unlike any that has ever been seen in our galaxy. As it flies past us, we feel the mind glow of its crew, and their secrets are ours. A psionic jump drive. How ingenious. Yes, so what, what, what does that offer us? Um, is that on the society? The psionic jump drive? Yes, it is. So, jump drive travel unlocks the initiate jump fleet action, which allows jump drive equipped fleets to nearly instantly jump to any systems in range. Yeah, we already have that. Jump charge time minus 80%, jump drive range plus 50%. Yes, that's going to help us a lot. Yes, it's a red tech, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? What, 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 could, what could happen? What could go wrong? It's totally okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that one's being settled. World of Power is happening. We're almost at the point where we could take the next tradition. I, I can't wait to get the tradition cost down a little bit. And that will probably also affect these. The ambition cost of those guys. Spiritualist, artificial moral codes. Yeah, so we can, we can drop the price of them by going for edict cost reductions. I mean, considering these are so good, we could think about going for the edict secure. duration thing. Yeah, I've never really, wasn't really interested in that. I was actually surprised to see that it is gonna be nerfed in the next patch to 50% uh, edict duration increase. Hmm, okay, we have reduced building cost. Should we go More for a second one? We might. We might actually. <laughs> they close their borders. Well, two can play at that. Two can play that game. Do it. Okay. Let's upgrade our fleet. We got the increased naval cap, which is good. Fleet command limit? No, no. We want, we want the jump drives. Like, we need that. And we got the devastated torpedoes. Building build speed. Oh, man. We have only future tech. I. I kind of would like to have that, actually. If we can make that happen, that would be brilliant. We're 20k. As soon as, soon as we're done upgraded. building that up, we're, we're going to start with the Dyson Sphere. And we got to keep in mind that we're actually getting a bit of a cost reduction for the Dyson um, with the living metal. Mega structure build cost minus 20%. So if it costs 40k, um, then for us it's gonna be, what, 32k per Dyson Sphere segment? That's pretty decent. I mean, 10k initially, and then we'll see how it goes. Yay, Tranquility is actually done. That is good. What we want on here is definitely, most definitely, a gene clinic. I want you to work that. Actually, I could have built that over here too, but who cares? Ah, we're at the max for influence. Let's see if I can do anything with my influence right now. No. 
And we have the health can campaign. Stick less saint, map the stars. Ooh. I could go for one of these now if I wanted to. Like. Architectural renaissance. Mega structure build speed, building build speed. It's extremely tempting. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, whatever. Let, let's do it. Omnifarious acquisition, like 33% additional minerals is also pretty nasty. Production targets, mining guilds, that's a lot. It might, not, it might not be as much the speed as it is having the minerals for it. Let's go for it. 14 years of increased mineral production. It's probably a good idea. That last ascension perk can wait a little bit. We don't necessarily need it right now. <laughs> what have I done with the fleet manager here? Cruisers? Do we want a balanced fleet? I kind of don't think so. Because we have we have the trickster admiral. Supplied speed, combat disengagement chance. Combining that with a couple of high evasion corvettes might be the way to go forward. Lots of minerals are coming in. Tranquility probably needs to be built out better. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just go and start building mineral buildings. Mining network on here. Mining network on here. Mining network. Just go for the one where there's nothing on it for now. <clears throat> we do want one thing for the food building, for the food dome, the paradise dome. Like over there. Have we upgraded the... No, that's it on number 7. Building build speed is much faster now. <laughs> that's definitely going to help us build up these ring worlds. So peace festivals are done. So we've got to go for the capacity overload for sure. Declare saint, why not? Peace festivals, why not? We're like We have tons of influence. There's no need not to use it. I mean, we could also go for the recycling campaigns. It's not a lot of minerals, but it's some. Education campaign, no. Fear campaign, why not? Just immunity production. Non-aggression pact. None of that really Foreign concerns us. us. Oh, we found the autocracy of Ravak. Hello. Greetings to you, I guess. Autocracy of Herak. Um, yeah, over here. They are a protectorate under the Sidomatus. Well, that might still be... Nah, I can't give them a research agreement. I would have liked to. Just to get some more minerals out of them. So how's that looking? Oh yeah, and I can already send my construction ship into the Imperial Shipyard. The cool thing is that they can actually jump from anywhere in the system. I like that. <laughs> and to the orbit. Complete. Can we already build a mega structure? We cannot as of yet. Um, cannot build more than one science nexus, but we do want the Dyson Sphere. Cannot build due to existing orbital station. Cannot build in systems with habitable planets. What? Oh, right. Oh, come on. That sucks. Hmm. That really sucks. So... <laughs> because of that Arctic world, we can't actually build that in there, which means I have to fire to fortify another system. Maybe we actually go for the Zipir system then, instead of putting Ringworld into it. It's already fortified to a certain degree, so we could just take that one. Uh, it has a three energy star. That still has two energy on it. That still has two energy on it. Could also use that one. Yeah, why why don't we go for Zip here? Although we could also go for Xenia. 
just right next to our uh, home system. Maybe maybe that's best. <laughs> I'm gonna rename the system. That's gonna be Imperial Might. Although we had other nice names like Apollo's Prison. That might be that might be funnier. Apollo's Prison. I mean, we'll get notified once the Ringworld segment is done. Oh, yeah, I really like the speed at which these buildings are now built. That is going to help massively. Like the growth bonus is still at 46%. Uh, I mean, we could, we could have more. No! Scientist Mercator Rex has died! That's not good. That is not good. Um... Field manipulation. Might not be a bad idea to have someone who's skilled in field manipulation. Assist the research. I gotta have a look at my list. Now. Who do we have? I'm gonna name this person. Let me have a look at the leaders. Where are we on, on the list? We've got Kellius, Felix, Kerber to Maxima, Mania, Gellius. Okay, so you are gonna be Hikius, Trez, Octavius. <laughs> Busy commanding the Dionysos. That that is totally okay. I mean, it is a it is a big loss. To lose them because now we're producing significantly less unity. That's like a 30 point drop. We're already up to almost 300 mineral production though. Beautiful. Actually, those buildings aren't really going faster. I was I was happy for no reason. Because we didn't go for that. <laughs> Look at me. Being so happy that buildings are being built much faster now. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Ah, right. Okay, then. Hmm. That looks like a world that needs to be filled at some point. So we have these buildings. Yay! Finally, we're constructing the planetary capital. That is good. War declared. Uh, Grolectors declared on the Great Old Ones. That's actually good, because that gets us off the hook. I think. Don't think the greater ones are gonna be strong enough to really do something there. They are inferior now in tech level. I've never managed to out tech an insane AI so completely that they are inferior. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> These guys are equivalent. Noobs, how are you? They're equivalent, so yeah. Getting to, to an equivalent level with an insane AI is actually pretty pretty difficult because they get a lot of bonuses War declared. a lot of bonuses like how's that looking how far are we with the ruin ruling world section 300 days so less than a year and we can start with the dyson sphere we're gonna build these up to get the minerals but we're gonna have enough for probably the first stage once the other thing is done and that's really gonna help us having that Dyson Sphere. I'm looking forward to it. And once we got the Dyson Sphere, we're also gonna be able to put out more ring worlds. It's a damn shame that we couldn't put it into the Imperial shipyards. But we have Lord another we have another free slot for Starbase capacity, so. Oh! Commonwealth of Man has a machine uprising. I guess that can happen, yes. Driven assimilators. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've got the side jump drive now. Good. Minus 80% charge time and plus 50% range. That is incredibly powerful now. Really nice. Ah, more naval cap. Yes. Yes, please. Thanks. Someone closed their borders. Oh, these guys. Yeah. And they're being rivaled by the Commonwealth of Man. How surprising. I would have never guessed that that would happen. 
Um, right, let's upgrade that. And then let's just upgrade the ones where we already have pops on it. Oh, actually, that one needed to come first. Oh, well. So, yeah. First the populated ones. That one's going to be populated soon. And then we're just going to upgrade the rest. Already pulling 40 minerals from that planet. Construction complete. Well, we're putting more from the next one. Oh! <laughs> That's a lot, of, a lot of buildings that need to be upgraded. Let's put down the Paradise Dome first. How's Tranquility coming along? Yeah, you can also have your own Paradise Dome now. Um, and then it kind of looks like Mineral Buildings are the name of the game here. So put the mineral processing plant on here, and then we're still firmly in the positive in terms of energy credits, which is all that really matters at this point. So just mining networks, I guess. Mining, mining. I don't, I don't need the research. I, but I'm gonna go for food buildings if we actually have that combination, because we can actually exploit that in a proper way. Mining, 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 mining everywhere. That's actually eating a lot of resources. But oh well. Let's upgrade all these buildings. World to Power also needs to be fully upgraded. Let's upgrade the ones that actually have pops on them. Wait, do you not have... Right. Clever me. I don't have a percentage building on here. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, demolish that one. <laughs> and build a processing plant on it. Should not forget that. Okay, upgrade that. Upgrade all the things. We guess I'm just going to let it run in the background. Yeah. It's pretty difficult to fill these ring worlds if you are a xenophobe and can't go for the like the migration influx, because uh, that's what I used when I when I was um, the Architects Foundation. Just lots and lots of migrants on my ring worlds, which wasn't optimal because like some of those races weren't really built out for getting more food, but it helped us fill lots and lots of ring worlds very quickly. This is not really an option for us right now. Come on. Yay, 50 days. And then we're going to start on the Dyson Sphere. we got to hurry. Got to hurry a lot. As much as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Actually, <laughs> I have to build a colony ship. I'm going to need that. Mm -hmm. I could already start upgrading that starport, I guess. And yay, Ringworld section restored. That means we're gonna get rid of the Xania mining station. Build a mega structure. Let's go for the Dyson Sphere. So it's gonna cost us upkeep for now. I think the building thing does cost us some upkeep. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna spend two hundred thousand. Well not not quite. We're gonna spend what, hundred and sixty thousand minerals? That is a lot, but it's it's gonna pay for itself at some point. Especially now that we have like the resource replicator buildings. That's pretty decent. Uh, we can like exchange thirty, no forty five energy for thirty minerals, which is a better rate than the traders give you. Ah, we have some pirates. Who cares? The end of the Kroll Marauders, really? The once proud nomadic culture of the Kroll is no more. Forces from the United Magar territories have destroyed the last of the massive space stations that house the majority of the population. Refugees from the surviving civilian population have scattered across the galaxy. Although some Kroll pirate and mercenary fleets may still be unaccounted for, the loss of their space dwellings is a devastating blow that they cannot recover from. This puts a definite end to their raiding. Okay. Right. <laughs> That's that's interesting. Let's upgrade these. 
actually considering just resettling a bunch of these guys. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will. Um, not Draconia. We want to resettle them to superiority. Because I, I want the food buildings to be worked. We're going to get minerals from them too, but the food buildings are the important ones. To get the, the growth bonuses on the others. It's going to cost me, what, 240 only? That's like hilarious. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull every pop that we can. Resettle those seven pops. Can we pull from tranquility too? Yes, we can. So let's do it. Like this. That should give us massive uh, growth bonuses. Didn't know that resettling was so cheap now. Yeah, that gives us. 69% now. Recent immigrant. Okay, I mean, it does take these guys' um, boost away a bit. Well, that's okay. Also dropped our mineral income. Ah, we have our star fleet over here. Definitely need to build up that that thing at some point. Uh, alien mega structure. Quotillium sons have started with the science nexus. Crash and burn Quotillia. <laughs> we really are envious. Okay, let's reach into the shroud. Come on, let's get something good out of it. There's a presence here occupying this entire part of the shroud. We have met spirits before, but this is something else. Something vastly more powerful. Something far more ancient. It seems unaware of us as of yet. Perhaps it is sleeping. Perhaps we are simply beneath its notice. Perhaps we should leave. Let's communicate. As we reach out for the presence, the minds of our telepaths are filled with a chorus of voices. No more than soft whispers at first. The cacophony grows in intensity. A thousand voices speaking in unison. The voices intru introduce themselves as the whisperers of the void. If they claim to be privy to all knowledge whispered in secrecy from one mortal to another and offer to share of these secrets with us, if we will only allow them into our consciousness, trifling price they assure us we will barely even notice their presence there's an urgency to that tone <laughs> yeah what could go wrong plus 15 percent research speed yes please empire influence gain why not there will be a price to pay oh well <laughs> it's done we formed a covenant and already they have begun to share the secrets with our scientists and leaders We'll benefit immensely from their knowledge. The only downside appears to be a certain uprising in mental illness and suicide among the general population. And some of our wards are experiencing a flurry of unexplainable murders and assaults committed by otherwise stable and well-adjusted in individuals. Our clinics and asylums are having some trouble dealing with the sudden influx of patients. It's nothing we can't handle. <laughs> Just some suicides and stuff. Who cares? <laughs> uh, I think our boon is gone. Yeah, that didn't last too long, like five years. But this is pretty good. It's a lot of a lot of research bonus. If only I could get m more geniuses, but they are. I could just probably go through a bunch of these guys until I get a genius in between episodes. For now, though, I'm gonna end it here. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the covenant. Uh, in the comments. So <laughs> I was thinking about the co covenant, so I said covenant instead of comments. Tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of my stuffs, please consider subscribing. Hope you join me next time for the first phase in the Dyson Sphere, building up our ring worlds and just hoping that these guys don't awaken yet, at least until I'm ready to deal with them. Um, it's gonna stay interesting. It's gonna stay interesting. Hope I see you next time. Bye-bye.